We just got off the Disney Wish on a four-night New Year's Eve cruise, had such an amazing time, but I thought maybe some of you would wonder, kind of like I did before we got on the ship, what is it like to sail on a Disney cruise for New Year's Eve? So I thought I would share the activities that were available. They had the early New Year's Eve countdown party, which I really wanted to do, but lucky for us, we had a Palo reservation. They had a deck party up on deck 11. They closed down the pools. So we went up for that and tried to stay up till midnight. We did not make it. They have lots of edge and vibe activities and at after midnight club luna something for the adults can't think of a better way to spend new year's eve than on disney's private island castaway key it was super choppy and very windy then we headed to marceline market we it's very crowded there but we we're able to get this incredible seat at the bar and i was surprised to find out that castaway key still had christmas decorations up we actually saw captain hook as we got off and it's always a good idea to take a look at the beautiful ship once you get off. I had convinced my daughter that she had to go to the kids club, mostly because I really wanted to go to Serenity Bay. We didn't go last time we were on Castaway last year. So we dropped her off at the kids club. She quickly realized like, oh, why am I here when there's the beach? Serenity Bay was not serene. It was ridiculous. I wrapped myself in three towels. I was absolutely freezing. So we got a notification. My daughter's like, let's go to the beach. And it ended up being a beautiful, gorgeous day. We stayed, I think, until four o'clock on the beach and just relaxed. The water in New Year's Eve was too cold for me, but my daughter and my husband got in. We had the lunch buffet, which isn't my favorite, but it was fine and some ice cream and drinks and then it was time to head back to the ship we usually have dinner early so i got my daughter some food up on the deck and took her to the kids club and we had a fancy schmancy dinner out at one of my favorite restaurants paolo hopefully again soon, hopefully again soon. do you like coming to castaway uh -huh. I'm gonna watch sail away. come sail away Come sail away. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully everyone got on this ship. Yeah. What if some people are missed? I have to. Say Happy New Year, Phil. Happy New Year. Headed to Paolo. This was our first time eating in Paolo on the Wish. I have eaten on all the other ships in Palo except for the Fantasy. It is one of my all-time favorite restaurants, so I was so excited to celebrate. We actually met 20 years ago on New Year's Eve, so this was also an anniversary for us. And I'll show you a little bit of the menu. I'm a vegetarian, my husband is not. Last February, we had the most amazing dinner in Palo, the burrata, the bread, everything, the view was just perfection. I actually felt like this meal fell a little bit short. It wasn't as good. Somehow the bread basket was not as good and the burrata was not as good. It's more of a steakhouse, which I just feel like you can get steak anywhere. But my husband had a seafood soup and filet, and I had the gnocchi, which was okay. The burrata was okay, but I'm glad we had a special meal together. And then when we got back to the room, they had this special lithograph to commemorate New Year's Eve on the Disney Wish, and it was time to go get our daughter and celebrate New Year's Eve. That's nice. Oh, look. That's so nice. Look, babe. The night's work is done. Fancy yeah. dress is gone. Yeah, went from a lily dress with a shrug to joggers and a sweatshirt. Mm, Donald, I'll be wearing the Mickey fleece. I know, Very you're fancy. So fancy. And Landon never even wore her beautiful like sequins dress. The New Year's it never was. I know. We're just gonna. It's cold out. It's cold New Year's. It is. Laying out on the Jupiter in the middle of the Caribbean. Let's get it crunk and crunk. 
We headed out to the back of the ship in the adult area and it was completely empty, so quiet, a beautiful clear night where the stars were out. We got a drink and sat out there right before we picked my daughter up at the kids club and the moon that night was perfection. That's incredible. It's like orange. That's pretty cool. Wow. I'm ready for a uh, New Year's Eve party and it's 11 17. We clearly did not make it till midnight, but we had a wonderful New Year's Eve. And the next day, Landon wanted to go to the kids club. We had Mai Tais brought to us in the adult pool and had the best conversation with a lovely couple who was actually a famous chef on a cooking channel or something. Really nice couple. And then I thought this was so incredible so we were out there in the pool and we we're like what's going on where are we and the captain had gone all the way down to miami on our sea day to find the best weather for us because it was kind of a chilly weekend and we had the best time out in the adult pool for about two hours i treated myself to a cappuccino which surprisingly was the first of this trip because wish had really good regular coffee and headed to the Untangled Salon. It was a beautiful salon, the decor, the workers there were so nice. They did do a little bit of upselling, but it wasn't too over the top and pushy. And I got a manicure to treat myself, and we had a relaxing dinner, and then Landon and I did the, uh, I forget the show, the goodbye show where all the characters come out and met some princesses as our last night, and then we headed off back to Disney World. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.